Hey everyone, Brad here with Newwin, and today we're going to take a look at the new Windows Phone build, uh, 10080, that came out earlier today. Before we get started, there are a couple issues with um, devices that people are reporting. One is that they're having these huge tiles. Uh, to get rid of that, it's pretty simple. Go into the settings, personalization, start, show more apps, or show more tiles, and that'll fix that. If you're having notification issues up here with the start menu or the notification center, reboot your phone, and that should fix it. The other issue people are reporting is you can see here the background colors not being applied to the right side. Um, doesn't seem to affect anything, just more of an annoyance than anything else. But here is the new build. And if you go to the App Store beta, or preview or whatever the heck they call it, you can see these new apps down here. And they're pretty straightforward. It's PowerPoint, Word, and everything else that you know and love. Um, they tend to do work pretty well once you get them up and running and you'll see here in a second do, 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 do. and it still looks like it's still pulling it down there we go so you know it's it's PowerPoint right there I mean nothing too crazy about it um, there's some fancy little edit modes here where you can just take a pen and, and write on stuff um, then there is also word same idea here just a mobile version of Word, and it does work pretty well. Um, I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how, ironically, <laughs> go figure here. And this is why it's not ready for prime time. And it looks like it's completely locked up there. Or it looks like the whole phone is locked up. Let me punch my password in. I'm gonna try it again here. There we go, now it's working this time. But it is, I mean, it's a mobile version of Office. It's what you would expect. It's pretty pretty self-explanatory. You can write, you can do whatever. And yeah, although that's kind of a bad view there. And you can delete the delete button. There has been a few issues where it wasn't actually deleting um, for me. And there you go, that's your, your format word customizations for the text and all that good stuff. And we'll take a quick look here at Excel for you. And same idea, it's Excel. And go figure this one. You can see it's completely hosed. Let me punch in the password again. See if it <laughs> good luck. All right, there we go. It completely crashed. Let's try it again. There we go. And it, whatever would have reason, the second time's the charm. And it's Excel. And you got all your fun stuff up here. Um, I mean, it, it's it's Excel. It's exactly like what you would think it would be. So let's just kind of, I don't know, play around. You can see you got your sheets down here and that's just the way it is. So let's keep moving on here. We have the new Xbox app and this is actually, I had some issues logging in. The delete key was not working when trying to authenticate. So if you typed your password in or your username wrong, it would not work. So this is pretty much exactly what they showed off. It's the, got the hamburger menu. You've got your messaging. Um, this app does seem to work a lot better than I was expecting just because they gave a couple warnings when you first started up saying, hey, this may not work as well. But um, I've had no issues actually so far. And doesn't look like you have any activity alerts. But it's the Xbox app. I mean, here's your kind of feed of everything. And it, it works pretty well. No major complaints here. You can look at your friends list, see who's online, see who's doing whatever. Let's see here, there are a couple more new apps as well. We can go look at the window, the store beta. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. You get used to seeing this loading screen. It appears several areas throughout the UI um, as they get things optimized here. So Windows Store, exactly like you would, you'd expect. It's the same as the desktop and it works exactly the same way. Nothing too real surprising here, but that's, ooh, I didn't actually mean to quit. 
but that's the window store. A um, little odd here that things just kind of cut off, but whatever, it works. And no major complaints, it's coming along just fine. And you know, you can go through the settings, but if you have the desktop version, it's pretty much the same thing, which makes sense because it's the universal app. And let's see, what else is new that's in here that I keep forgetting to dig around into? Da, 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 da. Let's go down to the settings here. And so the settings looks pretty pretty much the same. Um, there is, whoops, wrong button here. You do get under the personalization options now, the start stuff, where you can do the transparency slider, although it's kind of an odd experience. I don't think you can actually, like, see, it doesn't slide. You, you tap on it or just have it freeze. Um, and this is why I keep saying this build is not ready for prime time. Um, don't put it on your daily driver. How you change the background, do all that fun stuff, try to show more tiles. That's what I was talking about in the beginning to fix the issue. You can do the colors, such as if we want to go, I don't know, it's kind of a uh, color layout or whatever, I guess it's diagonals. Whatever Microsoft wants, we'll go purple. And there you go. Like I was saying before, oh, there is a new camera app. Uh, this build is, I, I would genuinely not put it on. Uh, any daily driver. If you have extra devices lying around, by all means, I don't know why those got switched. Uh, you can feel free to do so. Spartan, there's nothing really new here. It looks like it's just, you know, standard Spartan that we've come to know and love for the most part. Um, nothing, no new major features, and of course, the, it seems like everything's rolling out to the desktop and then to the phone, which is why the phone feels like it's a couple generations behind the desktop. Um, Cortana, again, Pretty much the same, nothing too different here, I don't believe. And let's go take a quick look at the camera app, although it'd be kind of difficult with things sitting on the ground. Um, Microsoft did say that if you have a higher end device, like a 1520 or one of these guys, that the camera app will not work all that, doesn't have all the features, and to stick with the, um, I don't know, you probably can't see. I'll just take a picture of the Surface 3 here. It's not a great picture. I don't know what it's doing. Um, yeah, so this, uh, <laughs> this is the experience in a nutshell. Um, yeah, great photo there. Um, Lumia 830. And there you go, that was some cooking or something. So this is the Lumi 830. This is the new build. Uh, it's pretty unstable. I would not recommend installing it, but it does show the general direction that everything's going. It should keep people happy who are clamoring for something new. Although in this case, something new comes with new issues. But definitely progress upward and outward. I wish they would update that Outlook Mail app to be transparent, but that will come in time. If you have any questions, let me know. It's at BDSAMS on Twitter or drop us a line in the comments below. Thanks for watching.